Hello and welcome to Jenna's Sparkling Kitchen 2.0. 2.0 because I have this fabulous new kitchen and clean dishes that I did, as you can see. So today's recipe is actually really cool. It's going to involve the use of this really awesome crock pot because I'm a working girl and I know some of you are probably working people too. So the thing is, you want to have something quick and easy. You just throw it in. You get home and it's done. Simple. So, this recipe is actually pretty special. It is low carb, gluten free, dairy free, soy free, sugar free, no red meat. It is phenomenal, especially if you're on an elimination diet, which I am right now. And it's been miserable and really difficult. But this is the ultimate solution because it is not only delicious, but also good for you, but mostly delicious. So we're going to start with a couple tablespoons of our handy EVOO. I'm just going to swivel that in here. So I just give it a good shaking. That's all that we got in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a few chicken breasts. Um, these, I've had them out of the freezer for a few hours now. So I guess they're pretty much unfrozen. They're turning colors. So yeah, but I'm going to call those unfrozen. Um, Actually, yeah, I'm gonna throw three in here. Ah, getting chicken guts on me. This is bad, guys. Hold on a sec. Now we're good. Okay. Putting on my apron. Now I can really cook. Okay, in case you weren't confident in me before. So, this recipe also requires half an onion. So I've got that all sectioned out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it. Here you can see me chopping some onion. Easiest way, cut off the ends. Peel off this outer layer, because no one wants that it's just the skin then we just come through chop 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 and since these are not going to dissolve all the way I am going to also go the other way with the knife the nice thing about onions is they're kind of like a pre-cut type of food which is like really awesome okay adding this onion to the crock pot Woo! in it is Okay, next step is going to be two cloves of garlic. So one, two, bam, we got that garlic. I'm going to start cutting. I didn't even cry during the onion, so I'm like very proud of myself right now. If you just do it quick and efficient, then you're just done, you know. So the garlic also not going to dissolve, so I'm going to cut that just like, I don't know why you can see it. But it's just little pieces, and they're in. So I just cut off the ends, bam, bam. Separate the skin again. It's very similar to the onion. This one's kind of growing, so sad. I'm killing life here. I'm just gonna take that out. Ooh, maybe I should be planting this. I actually like totally do that. When things start growing roots in my fridge, I'll just like throw them in some dirt and see what happens. So I'm just throwing these in the crock pot, peeling out the green part, which is the newly forming garlic plant. I guess my garlic's a little old. PSA, but it doesn't go bad, so we're Gucci. Okay, cleaning off the cutting board here. I've got two tomatoes. So yet again, very simple, just chopping these puppies up. Have you guys missed Jenna's Sparkling Kitchen? Because I have missed Jenna's Sparkling Kitchen. Let me tell you, my kitchen always sparkles, but it sparkles more with you guys. So thank you for watching. Got these tomatoes going here. Ah. Cutting them into bite-sized pieces and then just putting them in the crock pot. And of course, cutting out that funky thing. 
I guess it's not funky. I guess it's just how it grows and stuff. But, you know, things you don't need in life or stuff in your tomatoes. Just tomatoes. Okay. Got that Omi in the background. He's really cool. He's from Africa. Love my African artists. How many Africans we got out there? Any, any, any? Had a lot of friends from Africa at college. I went to BYU, Idaho. Got my bachelor's in communication. Perfect. So, good old rinse. You guys are going to be real proud of me. I have been measuring. So now you can actually follow my recipes. We're going to put half a cup of coconut milk. Woo. I just used the box one because it's like less fat. And it's just the original or unsweetened. You definitely don't want like a flavored one. So just like an overflowing half a cup in there. Beautiful. I'm obsessed with coconut milk. I have a teaspoon here. So I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon. So it's about half a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. Weird, right? Cinnamon. Some salt, as you guys know, I always use kosher. Got a few shakes of salt in there. And this is curry. I love getting my curry at Winco because you can just like do it in bulk. So it calls for one tablespoon. So I'm just doing like a heaping teaspoon. So I'm sort of measuring here so that you guys can follow along. Easy enough, right? And then we're gonna sprinkle in some basil. Okay, let me show you how this looks. Ah, it's a crock pot, so it does not look very glamorous. Anyway, I'm going to put that on high for a few hours and go about my day. It's my day off, so I'm going to have some fun, do some shopping. When I get back, I'm going to be making some brown rice with multicolored flaxseed to serve under the chicken coconut curry. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Stay tuned because I'm going to have the results coming here and they're going to be delicious. Trust me, you would never think that this is gluten free, dairy free, no red meat, all healthy and curry. Let's do this. I'm putting this on high for about four hours.